My life has been so blessed. There have been so many forks in the road where I had to decide which direction to go in. And over the years, I don't know who was guiding me, but I, I really can't think of any important fork in the road where I didn't wound up going in the right direction. My, uh, I am blessed with, with uh, I think, with good genes by, by parents and grandparents and uh, have just were solid, solid, solid citizens and they gave me an upbringing, upbringing that uh, didn't know it then, but it was absolutely built a foundation for, for me to not only survive, but to, but to excel. And uh, I, I, I don't look upon any of it really as, as being 100% my own striving and working hard, although I did for those. But there's lots of luck, lots of luck, lots of luck. Uh, the, I don't, looking back right now, I cannot think of any real regrets. The, I, I, I was born and raised in the worst depression, but I didn't know why we were poor. We had plenty of, of vegetables to eat, so, and I learned, learned for, from the people around me that taught me so much, and uh, I didn't even know they were teaching me anything. And then when it came time, when the war, big war was over, and Dad came home and we moved out to, to Columbia, Mississippi, and I really started working. Uh, before then, I'd been a paper route guy and stuff like that, but really working in, when I was 15 years old. and. Uh, for, for years, I worked under Dad. He was my guide. And uh, then later, when it came time for uh, Dad came home and was ill, and then he got better, and he convinced me that at 19, I could, in fact, run a newspaper, and he sold it to me. And from then on, you know, the, the civic leaders of the communities that I lived in were all, it's just the world, the world is full of so many people that really want to help you and uh, and I I've always uh, I my early days uh, really the church was a big part of my life I was surrounded by by pastors that cared about me and my family the uh, when we d moved over to Houston we, we had no idea which direction we were go going in and just that day in which I saw how big the Chronicle was and how big the Post was and decided the, the Chronicle was the heaviest and I wouldn't think, well, suppose the Post had been heaviest that day. I, it just, just just happened. And uh, I, my decision to go to U of H, and that was the reason we moved to Houston, wound up being easily the most important decision I made during my middle striving years. Uh, U of H was, uh, was young. They, 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 were, they were experimenting themselves about what they wanted to be. And uh, the professors there were all just stayed close, close, close to the students. Uh, we, I got individual attention for every one of them. I stumbled into a scholarship there that paid all my expenses. Uh, then, such wonderful people like Bill Walbridge, who had been a Red Cross executive that, that uh, said I needed to join the Red Cross and be somebody, help the community. And it was just one of the highlights of my life. The Red Cross uh, career has carried me all over the world and met people that I never would have met before. The, uh, Surrounded by a, a bunch of this at the Chronicle, uh, the, the leadership kept falling out of the tree, and every time there was a, somebody fell out of the tree, I'd get a bumped up. So even though my I first came to the Chronicle literally at the age of, of 29, which is kind of late in your career, you know, 
I wound up the last year, I was president of the Chronicle for the last 10 years. Uh, back in my high school, back just when we had, were going to college, uh, my uh, best friend was Maurice Danton, who came within a thousand votes of being pres of being governor of Mississippi. He and I were talking, of just looking at the stars and reminiscing, and I, and Maurice says, "Well, Gene, you know what? What about your career? Where do you?" I said, "Well, you know, it, one day I think I could probably make a hundred dollars a week. I, I could make fifty two hundred fifty two hundred dollars a year. I believe that." Well, Maury says, well, I'm just a lawyer, and lawyers don't make that kind of money. He, he says, maybe one day I'll get up to 5000 a year. Well, like I say, Maurice almost became governor of Mississippi. And uh, the financial uh, success with the Hearst Corporation, they are such a generous, generous company, and they offered so many uh, economic benefits that uh, I, I really, in my mind, I became wealthier than my most craziest dreams. Uh, and uh, they have put me in a position at this time of life where I, have, I really think that I have done some good. The world's a little bit better off because I came along and I'm a lot better off because Miss Betty came along.